Hey y'all, it's Barbara and Tim and we're at Jenny Lynn Cemetery in Jenny Lynn, Arkansas. And we have a story for you today about a 14 year old that was murdered along with her parents and the family doctor. I think it was like in 1890 or 93. Anyway, we're gonna show you the stone. It's a, a unique stone. And, but we spotted this as soon as we walked in the cemetery and Tim's gonna read this for you. But he was gonna. Yeah, it's broke stone, but it's old. Um, it's in memory of John Walden. Uh, he was born January the 12th of 1813 and he died May the 16th of 1857. He was 45 years old. And uh, so you can see the uh, this part of the stone here. This is oak leaf and a branch, I guess, and acorns. Anyway, the it's broken and laying here and this part right here we think is the person who made this stone so it's been here for a long time it's yeah 1857 we don't know when it broke Eight, 1857 i'm guessing that's possibly one of the if not the oldest it looks like it's all grave there in here. all it needs is, is to this be, uh, yeah. properly put back together which you have to do right. Yeah, Tim, stand beside it so we can see how big it would be. Oh, yeah. See y'all how big it would it'd be pretty tall if that if if that and wasn't it's leaning on, a little broken bit. Off. Yeah, it is kind of leaning a little bit. So, and it's got a big crack right here. So I don't know, but people that they rebuild these and it they use a process that you have to be real careful with so that you don't make it any worse than what it already is. Did you see? Look at those. This That's an old not, tree. Oh, 1938. I sort of say, no, that one's older, but it's 1938. Yeah. Over here, this one, uh, Robert E. People named their uh, kids. When they named them, they named them after fam uh, famous people, whatever. And this is Robert E. Lee Johnson. <laughs> so, 1873 neat. to 1926. But that's not an old stone. That's an a newer stone and yeah they probably family probably uh paid and had this built it was probably just a regular marker of some this sort. one's pretty neat it's a heart yeah and it's broke from its yeah Ro uh robbie b keller uh, keller yeah january 30th 1891 to november 1st 1912. It's you know, a heart. Yeah. yeah, it's a heart. But you can see these are pieces of yeah. other Yeah, somebody's been picking that, them up, broken ones, and just piling them up here, I guess. But maybe they've they, been they replaced. Know they, you know, maybe they've been re Maybe those are ones that It may have been because look at here. This one's got a lot of information on it. And that's what a lot of people are trying to do is trying to um, preserve because you can just see those that one's laying down and that one's tilted, tumped up. Look at it over there. See, it's it's fell over. See, that this one. one's uh, 1873 and 1878, Nancy and Philip. And there's another one. Nancy L., daughter of Philip and Emma Keller, born April 19th, 1873. That, uh, you know, are these twins? I think they're twins. They are. Wow. Yeah. What they is it? Nancy. Uh, Nancy and Philip, because they were born right? April the nineteenth. No, they're uh, not. Tw they're not. Let's, wait, is that the, uh, April nineteenth? Does that say? Okay, Nancy says eighteen seventy three. What does Philip say? Does he say eighteen seventy eight? It's like seventy eight to me. It does. Huh? Maybe they're not twins. Okay, so we're going to go over here and I'm going to tell you this story. <clears throat> Excuse no, but me. No, they made a stone because, see, she died uh, 1870. Died August 1873. Oh, yeah, the da dates are different. She was born and died. Yes. And this one was born and died. So it was brother and sister. And then probably what the family did was they decided to put a stone. For both of them. For both of them. Yeah. yeah. And then I guess this tree grew right up in the, the middle of it. Because that tree, yeah. or unless, I mean, babies could fit there if they were, but still, I, I, that's awfully close to that tree. I bet the tree just wasn't that big. 
Okay, but so look here's at these stones that have fallen over. This. Yeah, I mean they, that's. Just I wonder recent. what would make that. Yeah, I think. see what he's talking about here. This one's. Um. Okay, so it, this is the stone, and it doesn't look like an see, oak this stone. This one here, you can see where the uh, this this part right here. This is where where the stone came up out of there. See that was well. Cut there's out. a stone right there that doesn't look like it has a has a, a base. And yeah, this, but it's in a row over on there, so it's. I don't think it's goes there. It wouldn't. I think it's. I don't think it's wide enough. This stone is just missing. Yeah. But I'm gonna go over here and tell the story, and then we'll look at some of these. So yeah. this is the Miller stone, and it it looks like it's new because the base doesn't. See, I think it's been replaced. The base looks old. The stone looks new. But this is Lula, on this side. Lula Miller born. September 24th, 1876, died December the 11th, 1890. Can you see that good, or do I need to put that? And her mother. No, uh, we can see this really good. Um, this is, I believe this is the mother, N.A. Miller, born 18, uh, born August 16th, 1843, died December 11th, 1890. They were all three shot on the same day, and the doctor, and the doctor is here also. Then J.A. Miller died December the 11th, 1890. doesn't have the birth date on there, so maybe they didn't know it. But anyway, the, the base looks old, so I think they've, they've, this stone has been replaced. But they replaced. all died the same day. They died the same day. They were shot. They were shot, shot on the same. Shot and killed. Shot and killed. And, by, and the family doctor was also killed that day, and, um, eight, December the 11th, 1890. And uh, here in Jenny Lynn, we'll let we Tim... don't know where the doctor's grave is. Yeah, no, I, he's in the cemetery, but he's um, he's in the cemetery, but we haven't found his stone. So maybe he's one of the broken ones piled up on that rock over there. I don't on that uh, tree stump. I don't know, but anyway, so this is what happened. Lula was fourteen. She was um, very beautiful and very uh, developed for a fourteen-year-old. And I know today we have a lot of 14-year-olds that do not look 14. They, they don't look 14 to me. But anyway, Lula must have was very beautiful and must have looked older for her age. She evidently was having a, a, a relationship with 37-year-old Charlie Joplin and also the family doctor, which was 37, 38-year-old Dr. Stewart. He was around that age. And um, she got pregnant. Dr. Stewart said that it was Charlie's baby and that Charlie wanted him to perform an abortion. And Charlie said that it was Dr. Stewart's baby and that Dr. Stewart was trying to, to pin it on him because it was a crime. I mean, possibly hanging in 1890. I don't know. And so um, Charlie was uh, in Fort Smith with his buddies drinking for two days. He was very drunk, and he had been telling people already that he was going to kill Dr. Stewart over this because he was said he was spreading lies about him, and he was afraid that he was going to be prosecuted for this. And so he, um, he's in Fort Smith drinking, and he's telling his buddies that he works with at the coal mine that he's going to kill Dr. Stewart. So he's, he's I mean, dog drunk. He's headed to, Green, uh, to Greenwood. We're... we're Jenny Lynn. Greenwood is the bigger town right next to us, isn't it? Yeah. Next town, it's bigger. And uh, anyway, so he's headed to Jenny Lynn. And he kills a guy and takes his horse to, to get here from Fort Smith. And he goes to Dr. Stewart's office first and shoots and kills him. And then the horses give out and can't because he is riding it hard. He's riding that horse hard and... Uh, people that saw him and that he passed on the way said that he was was beating the horse and um, anyway so he the horse can't is give out and can't go anymore so he walks from Dr. Stewart's to the Miller farm he shoots Mr. Miller he goes in the house and shoots Mrs. Miller 
and then he comes back out on the porch at, by this time lula miller and her younger sister are there and the sister takes off running she's 10 years old she takes off running he shoots at her he doesn't kill her but he does injure her she makes it to the next farm over and then he shoots lula miller blows her head off puts the gun to her face blows her head off on the porch of her family home and then kneels down beside her, puts the gun under his chin, and blows his own head off. And um, so Dr. M uh, Dr. Stewart is buried in the cemetery. I, I, we, I haven't looked for it, and I can't find it. We might, we might run into it today, it, but it could possibly be one of the broken stones that stacked up. And this is the Miller family. All three died on December the 11th, 1890. And to me, that, that's a new stone, isn't it? It's been replaced it, because the base, look at the base. The base is old. Yeah. So there was an old stone there. They Someone's come back. Yeah, the base is and, old. And, you know, replaced that. Because that's like, what's that, 110, 134, 134 years ago. Mm. So that stone. Is, this, that, uh, you know, story with him, that doctor and all, you know, and this young lady who, you know, you don't know on the family what did they you know were they trying to they were trying to were they trying to pin it on the on the the they, wealthy doctor they were, they were not pin it on him not pin it on him they were encouraging her relationship with dr steward which which also upset charlie joplin because he was in love with lula he wanted to marry her. He told his he was telling his buddies that he worked with at the coal mine that he loved her. He was he was married. He but he didn't have no money. Morning. He didn't have any money, and he was married. But so was the doctor. Both of them were separated from their wives, and having a relationship with fourteen year old Lula Miller. The word is that her parents was encouraging the relationship with the doctor, of course, instead of. Yeah, but, Charlie, you know that's what I'm saying is the money because yeah. you know he was wealthy I, and, and I don't know that that's the reason I'm thinking probably better than daughter. with Charlie the coal mine miner yeah so anyway Lula um she's pregnant we don't know who the baby belongs to probably she didn't know if she's having a relationship with I both know. she didn't know and they didn't do DNA testing you know back then and so we don't know but Charlie was upset with Lula's parents because they felt like Lula's parents were encouraging her to uh, marry the doctor. And he's upset with the doctor because he said that the doctor was trying to blame the pregnancy on Charlie and he was afraid he was going to be prosecuted for it. So that's why he shoots the doctor and he shoots the parents because they're against him. They want her to be with the with the doctor instead but anyway it's 1890 here in jenny lynn arkansas and this is their um what gravestone is, and we can look over, over there. there it's pretty neat um that we'll go over there and old. see what that is it does look old look at this one this one's i love these kind right here what is that? it's homemade it? does it say willie willie smith is that what this says will yeah no w-i-l-l -L. Miller, is that? Um, no, will, will, W I will. See, sometimes the words run together. I don't know I what think it it's is. Will, Wilbur, Wilbur. Okay, that makes sense. Wilbur Smith. There's an E, two E's. I don't know. Does it say? It says. Does that say age? Or ace, A C E, age. I think it's ace. Something. One years. Is oh, that age. what that says? Age, age one, one year. years. Oh, how sweet. But see, this looks like a G up here, and he. But see, it was real upside down G. They did back then. There's stickers out here. I just oh, got one up in, one in, my, in my finger. In your hand. So that I. Don't, you know, could it be? Yeah, sometimes they did their lettering upside down or backwards or. On some of these, yes. I don't yeah. know why. I don't know if they're mistakes. I don't know. Yeah, they didn't have any erasers back then either. So. 
you know what look at this we need to remember this because we're going to be doing y'all we're going to do some grave um uh, cleaning yeah, he was we're, a calvary we're ordering some d2 and for memorial day the month of may we're going to be out doing some cleaning of uh, veterans headstones in small cemeteries like this There's and uh some that have just been abandoned or their families that you know are gone we have found some veterans at some abandoned cemeteries that's just grown up. That's the ones I really would like to go do. Kind of cut the brush out around the, the grave and, and clean it up and then put clean the stone with D2 and um, put a flag out with it. Mary? Flower Seed. Flower Seed. That's her last name. Flower Seed. How cool is that? 1908 to... It's 1903 to 1907. She's four years old. Oh, yeah. I couldn't read. Sorry. God bless big, her. Big stone. This yes, thing is and her last name is Flower Seed. Now, there's something over here. Is this a parent? I bet this is a parent. Does that say Rebecca? I think it does say Rebecca. Jameson. But that was probably her maiden name. And she died in... Let's say 1905. Died 1905. 1905. Born 1829. 1829 and died in 1905. Now that couldn't. That's not her mother. That's too old to be giving birth to to a four year old. Because what is what was the dates on that? Maybe I'm wrong. What's the date on 1829 that? 1829. 1907. Yeah, 1903. Yeah. This maybe was a grandmother. Probably because this is a, a family plot. Probably like, right here. This, so yes. marking, it uh, probably is. Let's see time. if there's one on the other side. There is. I don't know. Oh wow! There's another. Laura. Right here. There is. Over here. H F S. Flower seed. Eighteen fifty four to nineteen thirty five. And then there's another one on this. Side. All yes. four sides have something. Laura written. M. And I'm not really sure what this word is. Born. You want to get your? I'll hold this and you get the flashlight and see if you can. I can figure out here how. Okay, y'all. You told us to get a flashlight, and so we got one. Laura. Look at that! Look at the difference. Laura. Laura M. Wife of his H. Wife of H. A F S. The guy to your right. Flower seed. Flower seed, yes. Born March 12th, 1869. Died February 15th, 1908. So this maybe this is her mother. That that would make more sense. Laura. 69, yeah. But I don't know. Look anyway, at this it's old, a family. Uh, They're flower seeds, and I love their name. And uh, they've got just different markers in here. These are all broken. Yeah, they're and broken off. Most of these all look like footstone type deal. I just wonder if there's any inscriptions in un, oh, any of this. Oh, yeah, outside. on the, I don't see on the bottom of it. But we can walk on around the little this border. Way. I'm here, we'll move that way. Now, sometimes it's on the border here because it does look like there's footstones in there, but no headstone. Yeah, I don't see any writing on this. But that but could be some that it looks like they're some replacing. Because they've got broken ones piled up over there. This old gate is still here. It's lost one of its hinges is messed up. But those, these gates are unbelievable the way they built these things, the construction. This thing was a ratchet. And see this right here, they turned this part right here. And they would turn that and tighten this up. See, if the fence fits inside that. And then this just turns. And then this part right here catches on this thing like a, a ratchet. Anyway, yeah. to tighten up. This is pretty. Pretty neat top. construction the way they did that. And look at this. Trees is just grown up in it. Yeah. Look at this, y'all. Big limb. A lot of time. Been here a long time. Okay, are there any old ones? Y'all, we do the old ones because those are the ones that aren't going to be here much longer. 
we're there the weather you know they're being in elements they're just they're losing the inscription on them this is neat cyrus cyrus w field field is that it f oh yeah that's e field born june july july 27th 1859 died april 22nd 1905 gone but not forgotten but there's some old ones back here in the that back was really good oh looky shape. here it's a little to be cleaned little timothy timothy michael he was one year old look Maybe. over here Geneva Michael, this must be his sister, and she was a year old. Oh. Well, I don't, it doesn't have the months, but. Maybe about a year. Maybe old about or less a, year. Than a year. Anyway, don't know. Let's look at these old ones, and then there's some really old ones in the back corner. See, here's a Franklin Delano. And of course, this is uh, newer, but, you know, he was born in 1937. But. U.S. Navy. I hear a horse. Let's go look at this. Does that have anything on it? I don't think there's anything. Oh, here it is. Oh, I don't know. And Might these things were dot. just Joseph Nelch, born in Germany. October the 11th, 1840, and died in April the 17th of 1908. Mary, his wife, born July 16th, 1831, died June 16th of 1907. And look at all and it the... It says Nilch at the bottom, down there. Yeah. That's neat. But there's just a lot of work 1907 in and 1908. You know, we were here before, and there was a grave that had, there was a stone, and it had, it had a watch on it. Somebody had left a watch on it. Let me see if I can find it. It was one of these markers on the ground, like these, and it was, there it is. The watch is still there. Okay, y'all, can you see the watch? I'm not going to put this on where you can see the name because I would hate for something to happen to the watch. But see, I, can y'all see the watch? You know, I, I would hate to put this out there and then somebody come and take the watch. But for some reason, someone has left a watch on this. And it was probably three months ago that I was here last and that watch was there. I wonder. Is it a... <clears throat> yeah, it's not ticking. It's, it's not, not waterproof. Okay, well, water put it right it. back at where it was, babe. Just to, right back in the same place that's meant to be for some, somebody's put that there. But you know what, y'all? Things well, like that are moving. That that's just that just touches my heart. That just really touches. Because that grave's my heart. not that old. I would imagine yeah, it's his watch. It may be his watch. Did it say what time it stopped? That might have been the time of his death it did. Yeah. It's, what what time was it? I mean, I don't well, want to know. I think it was one something, but. It might have been. I mean, like, it could have been. If he was like in an accident or something, the watch may have stopped then. Yeah. 12.46. And how old was, it's a, was he? Does it, does it say? I'm just curious. Thirty-six. Thirty-six years old, and the watch stopped at twelve. Twelve oh six. Did you say? Twelve forty-six. Forty-six. Here's a veteran. I love Jewel. these because those are are like bronze, aren't they? Is that like is that yeah, what that's I think made that's out what of? They call them is bronze. I love that. And it's um, he was a private first class U.S. Army World War Two, nineteen oh six to nineteen seventy eight. And and this is it. this is bronze, but you can see right here this uh -oh, this right here. Chipped. Oh wow, there's ants all in there. Oh yeah. But what has happened here most likely is a mower. Mower, yeah. 
and those they they try to do a good job to clean and keep these cemeteries maintained but they get too close with these mowers and it's you know what is that it someone happens. is that a pine that's is that a christmas tree somebody no i'm gonna show y'all this is a this is a new grave and i'm not gonna put any i don't want to you know I yeah, because this is 2023. 2023. Just, yeah. So I bet that was, because that's being cut and placed on that grave. You think somebody did that for Christmas? I mean, I'm not going to put any names or anything on there because this is a new grave and we don't do that, y'all, out of respect for the family. Yeah. November. Well, November. 14th. Yeah. So it was that just, may have been someone's yeah, that's put just that there, you know, for Christmas. A month ago. But look ago. how green it is. Would it still be that green if it was there that long? I mean, it's starting to kind of. I don't think so. I mean, they they probably would. Okay, so let's go back here in this in that back. There's some really old ones back there in that back corner, because those are not old at all. Y'all, that out of respect for the family, we just stay up, try to st try, I'll say, to stay away from newer uh, stones because out of respect for the family. It's the ones that are. Uh, they say that after three generations is when you become forgotten, basically. You outlive your family. Because you just outlive your family, and so. Um, we just want to stay away from the newer ones. And the older ones are the ones that are, are weathering away. The weather is just eating at them. And they're not going to be here too many more years. They're, they will be forgotten if it's not documented. Some old ones back here in the back. We're going to go do those and then we'll wrap this up. Yeah, and that's the great thing about YouTube is there's so, you're accessing so many people who may be able to um, know about information about some of these older graves and uh, the um, well the comments that, that we get old? it looks like a, it's old, old yeah. fence I don't old know fence. about but the comments the we fence. get about some of these graves and stuff and the uh, people looking for their ancestors and stuff and and a lot of it you know I mean it's right there on YouTube so there it is Surely there's more than one grave in here. Keller, it says Keller. There's two right there, John and Adeline Keller. He died in 1913 and she died in 1914. And this was a family plot. And yeah. They had just plans of Isn't it pretty? Look at this. Later on. These look like crosses all across here. Yeah. Across the top of it, different sizes. That's neat. It's old. And Isn't then, that neat? All the crosses, all the way around the fence. You see the same thing again here. You know, the way they these little miniature turnbuckles. Tim likes to see how things that, are made. Figure it well, out. The, these people were true craftsmen back yeah. then that built these things. Because it's still what this standing. Is. Look at this one, y'all. This one. It's this just one crumbling. I'm sorry, that was a quick turn on you. This one's really, look at it. It's just crumbling. See, that's why we're here, y'all. That's why we do the old ones, because th this one's gone. There's nothing. It doesn't say anything on it, so we don't know. And so you have to go through. What is that? Condren? Condren. You have to go through, find a grave, and then try to figure out, you know. Well, you find a grave may not have it. They only have what we, what the public puts on there. So this is 1917 and 1938. Condren. JB and Ilmi, father and mother, sis, father and mother at the bottom. And okay, y'all, I here? think we need to wrap this up. You find something, Tim? What's it say? Part of it's missing, but I think it's from gone. our home, from, but not from, from, our, from hearts. our home. Yeah. Well, but I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't have it on there so hearts. you could see it. And uh, so, yeah. 
Okay, y'all, we're going to wrap this up. We don't want to make this video too long, and we're right at 30 minutes. But we're going to go do another one for you. We've been off the last two weeks because the weather here in Arkansas, in Oklahoma, has been horrific. <laughs> it is, we've had ice and snow and, and temperatures that we're not used to in Arkansas. So we didn't get out and do anything. But this week is going to be fantastic. So we're going to get some videos for y'all uploaded this week. So we thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video.